Okay, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I've been pretty busy. Uh, I took the boys hunting on Monday and Tuesday. Well, they didn't go Tuesday, but I did. Uh, unfruitful, didn't didn't get a deer, saw lots of them. Uh, slugs in the woods don't work out too well when there's tree branches, so that kind of put a damper on the pamper there. Um, but yeah, so now today is Wednesday, and I've been working on bringing home hay, as you can see. I've got quite a pile just kind of strewn about. Oh, there's the loader. That looks sweet up there, doesn't it? Works really well. Um, what I had was, this is the remainder of the one farm that I, uh, you know, I just cleared the last of it off. Was there two, four, five, six, seven bales there? And there was an old tarp that I had from a year or so ago. Now, I got a couple of couple of issues. Uh, this morning I got up and went to the mush, went to go to the mushroom barn and the truck started up good and all right. Got any troubles. I got about halfway down there and son of a bitch wouldn't wouldn't shift right. Yes that auto shift is a pain in the neck. So I wanted to see if there was water in it. So I pulled over, pulled the tank. Here there's Nothing in there. A little bit of air, like there's supposed to be, but no water. So I get to the other tank, this one here. Of course, it's got water in it. Well, the air dryer is working, but apparently not good enough. So I decided I got to get air dryer for this thing. I don't care if it dries out my O-rings. I need a truck that's going to shift. So... I got this antifreeze and rust guard. Um, it says poison, <laughs> poison vapor, danger poison. Vapor is harmful, may be fatal. So, me being an inquisitive fella, I decide what could this stuff do to me? Well, on the skin, it can cause a coma and eventually death. So you're supposed to wash your hands with soap and water. Well, it doesn't say anything about putting protective gloves on to handle it. Um, it just says refer to the MSDS sheet. So they were kind enough to print the MSDS sheet on here for you. Uh, the problem being, it doesn't say... Uh, <laughs> what you're supposed to wear as far as I could see. It just says call for chemical emergency during transit, spill leak, fire accident, call 1-800-E-SHIT. Well, I don't know. I figured, well, inhalation, it causes dizziness, dizziness narcosis. Whatever the heck, narc I don't know what narcosis is. Cardiac depression and even death. With severe exposure. <laughs> so, it also says don't drink this stuff. Abdominal pain, headache, shortness of breath, later accompanied with blurred and double vision. Uh, <laughs> eventually blindness. Can cause coma, followed later by death. Induce vomiting and drink plenty of water. Well, this is some badass shit. I don't know that I even want it in the truck. So... It is in the back here. I've made sure everything is tight. Um, it does have an odor to it. So if for some stupid, strange reason that thing does decide to uh, uh, get a leak in it, I should be able to smell it before I go into a coma and die. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, just giving you a quick update as to what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe.